Okay, so here's the deal. I'm in Wisconsin. I live in Minnesota. I traveled down here to do something. In my first video ever, I discussed a Blood Angel army that I'm doing a commission for. Um, I've been doing it for seven years. Here's the clip. He employed me to paint, assemble, and convert all of his miniatures. And just like that, I embarked on the longest and largest commission that I have ever done to this day. And this is kind of a turning point in our story. Before this, it was pure enthusiasm and motivation. But now I had to paint someone else's models, ones that I didn't even like, and I had to do it at a reasonable pace. So I, I've finally finished that commission, and I'm here to deliver it to the owner. There it is. It's like the Ark of the Covenant. If I open it, it's gonna melt my face off. It was my friend and best man at my wedding. His name is also Scott, coincidentally. <laughs> um, and I am uh, surprising him. He doesn't know that I'm here. So it's gonna be pretty good, I'm, I'm excited. So I'm going to our original Games Workshop store and I am going to surprise him. And it's cool because today is the uh, anniversary of the store and it's gonna be great, it's gonna be a great surprise. So I wanna bring you guys along with me. There it is. My original Game Workshop shop. Did you think that I was ever gonna finish it? Oh, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> That's all I wanted to ask. <laughs> all done. But the flip side is I that don't you don't have... really, you don't care. Don't... Oh, here. Here. Hold on. Right in front of the door. No, I'm not letting you in. There's a thing that needs to be done. Scott, do the top. Sure. No, no. No, like now, Scott. Like now. No, no. Turn around. <laughs> I, I wish I had a cattle prod sometimes. Just like, that would be the best hobby tool of all time. Yes. If someone wants to get the store a birthday present, you guys, you guys know what to do. Holy monkey. Remember a long time ago you needed some models to paint? <laughs> like eight years ago? Yeah. They are all done, buddy. Holy shit. And they all fit into the cases you gave me too, so you don't need anything extra. So I don't need to buy another like eight cases? No. No, you don't need any more cases. But yeah. It's all done. That's awesome. Well, I, guess I, gotta, I, I guess I am playing in the tournament today, actually. What up YouTube? It has been a long, long time since I've made a video and I'm sorry about that, but several things have 
kind of delayed the release of my videos. Uh, for one, I lost all of my YouTube data, all of the title sequences, intro trailers, end slates, iconography, anything, everything related to YouTube was gone. So <laughs> that kind of delayed me a little bit. So in the meantime, what I've been doing was painting the rest of these godforsaken blood angels and getting rid of them, which has been a tremendous weight off my shoulders. And I've also been uh, collaborating with several other artists to kind of rebrand my channel from having a new set to shoot in to having a new logo, a new aesthetic, just everything, recreating it from the ground up to kind of be more me and less just kind of faceless. So in the coming weeks, you'll see a couple changes to the YouTube channel and I'll release a video all about the changes that are going on and all about all the collaborator collaborators that are helping me make all those changes. But for now, let's check out someone from the community's models in a community highlight. Drive down Google. Yes! So we're going to do this a little bit differently. We're going to do this live and just click on someone from the link or the list that we haven't seen yet. And uh, let's do William Bystrom. Let's see what you got, Will. Riptide. Oh my word. Photography skills. Look at this beautiful white background. Um, love the base. It's very minimalistic. Um, looks very natural, which is kind of what a base should be. I like the dirt on the feet. Um, I like the flames. Those don't look like decals. They look like they're hand painted, which is a nice, a nice little touch. I like the color composition, kind of the green, the black, and the red, and then the maroon base. I feel like it's a good composition. Um, yeah, really subtle shading, maybe with an airbrush with these kind of like this darker green areas. Really cool. Uh, thanks for the submission, William. And stay tuned for more uploads. Sorry this one took so long, uh, but they should be coming out more regularly once I have my channel's art reestablished. But talk to you guys later.